Hey there, it's Amelia. In today's video, we'll download Kindle Create and I'll explain what Kindle Create is used for. Let's get started. I've been using Kindle Create for many years, but I recently got a new computer, so I need to download it. Kindle Create is a free Amazon tool and it's used to convert interior manuscripts to ebook formats. To download Kindle Create, just go to amazon.com forward slash Kindle Create. It will redirect you and the next step you want to select either download for PC or download for Mac. I have a PC so I'll click here and then next it will start the download process which I could see here and when it's finished downloading you'll want to navigate to your downloads folder and you should see the exe file here so you want to double click on there to begin the installation review the license agreement and then click I agree change or accept the destination folder and select install and if you keep run Kindle create it will launch after you select finish and if there's any new updates it will have information before it moves forward this is the what's new in Kindle create Here's some information about the contents pane which helps you organize and navigate your book Recent updates to Kindle Create allow you to easily add new pages to your book's front matter as well as back matter. We'll click next and move forward to the main screen. They're testing some beta features, so you have the option of enabling early access to beta features or you can skip it. So once you launch Kindle Create, this is the normal screen that you would see. So from the main Kindle screen, I'll do a quick demo and explain the different options to convert your ebook. I'll click File, New Project. And next, you have three options for converting your interior manuscript to ebook format. The reflowable option is primarily for text-based manuscripts where you would want the text to be reflowable and adjust automatically on each page depending on the reader's device and if they change the font or font size. You could then export the file in EPUB file format for uploading on KDP, for example. The comics option is best if you have a string of JPEG images to lay out, such as a comic book or children's book. The print replica option can be used for books with a combination of text and images on the same page when you need the content on each page to stay put and not change. The text will not be reflowable and it will remain exactly as you have it on each page. This is the option I use a lot for my books, including my nonfiction books and children's books, where I want the pages to remain intact. A good example is a cookbook where you see this image and the recipe and information on the side panel and below where you want all the information and the image to stay together as is on each page. Another cool feature of the print replica, which I personally love, is the pinch and zoom feature. This is how the pinch and zoom feature works when readers use a mobile device to read your book. Using two fingers, they can enlarge the page to view images and text for easier viewing and reading. That's Kindle Create in a nutshell. If you want to learn Kindle Create in more depth along with self-publishing, I included information below in the description in this video. I also have another video available on how to create a table of contents in Kindle Create as well. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash the like button and remember to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Bye now.